T.R. Miller versus Pike County. Hey, and welcome to Bruton Municipal Stadium where tonight, the game of the year so far in Region 1, T.R. Miller Tigers number one in the state in 3A and Pike County number four. And uh, with me now is Coach Jamie Riggs. And, and, and Coach, this is, uh, this is a game a lot of people have been looking to this year. Well, I think so. I think when, you know, we got through playing last year and uh, then through the playoffs and all, you know, when we didn't get to meet again, I think people were kind of looking at this game knowing that, uh, you know, both of us ought to have a pretty good team and then it would be a good game when it came back in October. Well, you know, uh, the game last year was close, 19 to 13, and, and you guys had plenty of chances. And, and, you know, when you have a team like Pike County who they're so big, and so physical and so fast and have so many tools uh, yet just 25 guys on the team depth can become you know uh, something that you can uh, take care of uh, what are you guys looking to do offensively tonight well I, I think number one we we obviously got to be able to block them we only got to run and throw we got to block them and uh, you're not going to trick them or anything like that you got to be able to come off the ball and block them some and so we'll know early you know I think probably by the end of the first quarter whether we're going to be able to handle them up front we need to win the uh, battle there to line of scrimmage. How important is it for you guys to control the ball um, and keep your defense off the field? Well to have an all-American quarterback the less number of times he has the ball the better off we are so uh, obviously we need to hang on the ball and give him less snaps and uh, last year especially in the first half we had too many three and outs and then in the second half, we did a better job and controlled the ball a little bit more and, and gave him less chances. And uh, if uh, we come out here tonight and give him 55, 60 snaps, we're going to be in trouble. Well, you're talking about Chris uh, Nixon. And, and here's a guy last week against Clark County uh, who accounted for seven touchdowns, three uh, or exa actually four throwing the ball and three rushing through for over 250 yards. And, and uh, he is a dynamic quarterback. Oh, well, he's a super player. And uh, they're going to put the ball in his hands and keep it there. And uh, he's not going to throw it he's going to run it a lot of times and uh, so they don't turn the ball over much they're pretty solid on offense because of that he handles the ball so well so we know that and uh, you know I don't think we'll see a lot of different stuff out of them tonight I think they're going to continue to do the same things been uh, you know, allowing them to be successful you count on Nixon handling the ball a lot he will and, and when he throws it he's going to throw it to his tight end quite a bit Nick Walker who last week caught eight eight passes and, and I think for the year has caught something like 50 passes for the year uh, those two guys are dangerous and they were pretty much a one two punch against y'all last year defensively uh, how do you try to contain those two well it's not easy you know we've been we've been working on that but uh, obviously it's a it's a problem and uh, you've, you've got to be able to put some pressure on Nixon and rush him some if you sit there and just uh, uh, don't rush him uh, gee he'll pick you apart so you've got to put some heat on him somehow and that's when he becomes dangerous running so um, yeah it's pretty obvious that we need to contain him uh, the answer to that question is a little more difficult to come by. Right. And, and defensively and offensively, you guys have had really about three or four way, weeks to kind of prepare for them uh, at a part of your schedule where you play teams that, that you know, looking at it, you should have beat, which you did. Uh, were you able to, to spend some time just kind of looking toward the end, not just Pike County, but also with Neil and the playoffs coming up? Well, uh, yeah, you know, and we obviously we talked last month about trying to get better at things and all, but tonight begins one of our tests you know obviously and we know that and as I told our players earlier in the week this is not state championship game it's not the most important game on our schedule but it is an important game and obviously we'd like to win it and we're, we've had a good week I think our guys are prepared and uh, this should be a, a really good ball game if we do our part and I hope we will and, and coming in both teams undefeated this is basically uh, with one week left in the in the season uh, as far as the region standings goes it, this is uh, you know for first place in the region and obviously the the, the uh, top seed in the region uh, uh, so that's what I was going to ask you. How are your guys preparing for this as far as not being so much against Pike County but, but just winning the, uh, an important game? Well, that is important, but, um, you know, uh, we, we, we don't really care as much about winning the region. We'd like to come in first and second because you get a home playoff game, you know, but we're, we're not so interested in that. Is It's just the next game. They're a good team. We need to beat them. And uh, I think that, taking that attitude has helped us a little bit this week.
So that just the focus there is is a lot different for you guys than it is most of the fans and, and people that are interested in the program. They they obviously want to uh, you know they see it differently as far as that is concerned. But as a coach, this is something that you guys uh, have understood for a long time and, and really preset focus as far as just winning uh, and, and just getting that playoff spot. Well, we knew uh, you know going into the season that when October rolled around that uh, we we had Pike County coming up in October. We knew they were going to have a really good team. We knew if we wanted to be able to win the region, get one of those top playoff spots, we won't have to beat Pike County. Uh, they knew where T.R. Miller was on their schedule. They were thinking the same thing. That's what makes it a good game. Right. And we're all excited about it. It's good luck. See you after the game. All right. All right. Once again, T.R. Miller hosting Pike County. Uh, should be a great game. Uh, Pike County has won 18 of the last 20 games, and T.R. Miller is on a 13-game winning streak at 7-0 and this year. Pike County's only loss, remember, was against... Uh, Class 5A Eufaula, who's ranked number three in 5A, and, and that was a 13 to 7 game. So this game, uh, you know, means a lot for both teams as far as that playoff standing. So we'll be right back with the game. <laughs> And a very dangerous uh, Pike County Bulldog team set to receive. Joseph on his way to the football. Kicks it high, end over end kick. It's going to be deep inside the five. Off the hands of the receiver and into the end zone. So it'll come out to the 20-yard line right there. Number two, Elijah Daniels for the uh, Pike County Bulldogs. Couldn't handle it. It's into the end zone and it's dead ball after the 20. Certainly an important uh, series of downs right here. Pike County mixing uh, a very talented quarterback. Number one is under center for the Pike County Bulldogs. Got tight ends to both sides. There's a motion in the line of scrimmage. And I believe they're going to get to Pike County for illegal procedure there. Tigers ended up coming with about a, a nine-man front looking to, to also. First and 15, ball spotted at the 15-yard line, just underway at Municipal Stadium. Pike County versus T.R. Miller, our T.R. Miller Tigers homestanding. Nixon's under center. He's got wide outs to both sides with a tight end. They come with a little tight end dump to Walker, the tight end number 15, a very talented football player, about 6'6". Got several Division I players for, for Pike County Bulldogs. They don't have a lot in number. They dress 24, but they've got quite a few players. Nixon's in the shotgun this time. Wide receivers to both sides. He takes, he looks for the shotgun snap, takes it. It's a quarterback draw. He's got a block in the middle. He's going to be chased and stacked up at about the 27-yard line, short of the first down. Nice job by Demetrius Free, too. And he was kind of leaning back there, anticipating that snap. And uh, But no flag on the play, third and three. Trips formation uh, to the far side. Three receivers, a wide out walker to the near side. Nixon's in the shotgun again with a fullback flank to his left. Takes the shotgun snap. going to run the option. He's around the corner. Picks up the first down. 35. He's out in the open. 40, 45. Across midfield. Down the sideline on the other side. Joseph Turner at the 30-yard line gets a hold of him around the neck, but he's out of bounds in the yard of the Pike County Bulldogs. First and 10. Balls on the far side. Hash mark. 28-yard line. Pike County breaks a huddle to come to the line of scrimmage. Walker split wide to the right with a slot. Wide receiver to the far side is Daniels. Nixon's in the shotgun. Flank to his right is his fullback. Takes a shotgun snap. Same play uh, to this side, to the near side. He breaks and slips a tackle there inside the 25-yard line down to about the 20. A big play. Maybe uh, maybe a break for us in that we got him down without letting him score on that first play, <laughs> and we can keep him out of here. Second and five for Pike County in T.R. Miller territory, 23-yard line. Nixon again in the shotgun. Trips to the near side. A single receiver to the far side. He hands it underneath. Penetration in the line of scrimmage. That's Kendrick Deer. Knocks him down in the back field for about a five-yard loss of numbers, and that's about what they look white top to bottom, although there is some silver in there. T.R. Miller again in their red uniforms. Backs to uh, the north end zone, as we call the, the game here. Nixon's in the shotgun again. Trips to the right side. A single receiver to the left side. He takes a snap. Drops back. He's got pressure. Throws it in the flat. Complete. And uh, for the first down is Daniels inside the 20-yard line, actually inside the 50. Nice hit on him, puts him down, and that's what they want to do. They want to put pressure on him because he's going to want to throw the football. Third down, I'm sorry, first and 10 at the 13-yard line are the Pike County Bulldogs. Again, trips to the right side, single receiver to the left. It's a tall sweep to the outside. Picks up a block, but uh, has to cut inside. It's hit hard by Demetrius Preer. 
uh, probably close to the line of scrimmage after tonight. So we've got a uh, whole sideline of folks right here. A lot of folks are going to play Pike County with uh, 25, 26 players. It's uh, going to be a long football game, hard fault, and uh, that's what we're anticipating. Again, trips to the right, a single receiver to the left, snaps to Nixon. He keeps on the uh, quarterback counter and pushes the ball across the 10-yard line down to about the 9-yard line as he stretches forward. Third down and six for the Pike County Bulldogs. Ball at the T.R. Miller nine-yard line. Opening quarter, 6.43 here to play as we open the first quarter. Mixon's in the shotgun again. Three receivers to the right side, one to the left side. Flank to his right is the a, is a halfback. Ball's batted down or thrown uh, to the single receiver. Fourth and about six. Wouldn't surprise her. Uh, if they, it wouldn't surprise me to see Nixon. Well, they're going to kick on a, any kind of play when they need five yards, so I'd keep it in Nixon's hands. Damian Jackson in coverage for the uh, T.R. Miller Tigers on the third down play. Field goal team's in. Ball's going to be spotted, and it is at the 15-yard line. Kicks up, and uh, let's see what it is. It's no good. No good. So it's off to the left side, just barely. Off. But Nixon is so difficult to contain, I'm surprised they didn't let him have that option keeper again. First and ten for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Ball's at the 20-yard line. Lanham's under center. Two backs behind him. Turns and hands the ball to Fountain. He breaks across the middle. 30-yard line. And he pulls two out to the 35-yard line. So pick up a 15 on the first down. Be 300 pounds to the, at that outside defensive end. I think you're going to see him coming straight at him. Again, Lanham under center, wide outs of both sides, eye backs behind him. Davidson, the tight end in motion as a flanker today, and he steps uh, up to his tight end spots and takes a stance on the counter play. Again to uh, Fountain. Fumble on the play. Pike County's got it. He's going to go around the corner, and it uh, looks like uh, Michael Jones again is going to knock him down. Tough break for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Uh, Fountain just hit under his arm at the time. First and ten, uh, first and goal. The ball spotted just inside the ten-yard line for the Pike County Bulldogs. Twin receivers to the right side with a man uh, at a wing to the right side. Mixon takes the ball from center, comes in motion across, throws it in the flat, incomplete at about the five-yard line. Rolled out. It was wide open if he wanted to run and pick up five or six yards, but chose to throw, and it was uh, just off the fingertips. Mixon again to the line of scrimmage with his Pike County Bulldogs. Twin receivers with a wing to the right. Mixon takes the ball, throws the ball in the flat. He's got a man, man out there. Breaks the tackle at about the eight-yard line, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. So touchdown for the Pike County Bulldogs. Because Pike County's going to score their points. Kind of an offset huddle for the Pike County Bulldogs as they uh, attempt the extra point. Now they break the huddle and come to the line of scrimmage, uh, laterally down the line of scrimmage. 15 Walker uh, will again do the kicking after missing a short field goal attempt. Snaps back and the kicks up and uh, let's see what it is. It's good. So with 5:30 on the on the ball on the power pig, 93.3. At Municipal Stadium, Pike County has struck first. 5.30 here to play in the opening quarters. But we can't have the turnovers. Gomez is deep at about the 8-yard line for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Five across the front and uh, six behind for the Tigers. Ball is uh, kicked high and short. It's going to be Michael Jones at about the 22-yard line. He picks up a block out across the 30, 35, 40-yard line, and down there at about the 41-yard line. So a nice... Uh, ni and uh, make... Pike County stop that run. Tim Matcher, number 30 in the game now at the fullback for position for Michael Jones. Lanham's under center. Davidson at the tight end position. Shifts to the right side. The defense follows him across. Twins to the right. Ball's handed to, uh, no, faked on a bootleg. And uh, Lanham's throwing the ball down the field. Kyle rushes there. It's in and out of his hands at about the 20-yard line. Tough break for the T.R. Miller Tigers. But it was a but it was a great fake. I thought it was uh, I thought uh, Fountain uh, had it on the counter right, play, right? right? Exactly right. Twin receivers to the left again. Davidson to the right. Eye backs behind Lanham. It's an option play this time. Pitch to Fountain on the corner. He picks up a block. 45, 50 across into uh, Pike County territory about the 48 yard line. The single receiver could have been Joseph Turner out here. Made a nice block on the corner to get uh, Skyler around the corner and uh, big play first down for the Tigers. Lanham's under center again. Got the fullback set at a wing to the right. Twins to the left. Lanham on the counter play to Fountain again up the middle. Across the 45-yard line down to about the 42-yard uh, line goes Skylar Fountain.
it's kind of ball control up by the time the end of the game that you've worn that they're just tired. You just hang around long enough and that'll give you a chance to win when it gets late in the ball game. Wing set to the left with Davidson to the left. Riggs goes in motion across to a twin set. Ball's handed on the power play right to Fountain. He swarmed at about the line of scrimmage. Nothing there this time. After a turnover and a short uh, touchdown pass, third down and six, uh, third down and four for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Lanham's under center. Davidson uh, is at a wing, goes in motion to his tight end side, steps off uh, the line of scrimmage, just the flanker. Fountain on the uh, on the tall sweep, turns the ball up the field and falls across the 40-yard line. He's going to. They've had the success running, and you've got to got to go for it here. Fourth down and almost two yards to go for the Tigers. Two tight ends, split backs uh, behind uh, Lanham, and he hands it to Jones. Jones across the 40-yard uh, uh, line and all the way down to the 35-yard line, so he picks up about Michael Jones for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Nice hole in the line of scrimmage uh, by those fr uh, folks up front. Lanham's under center again. Twin receivers to the left. Eye backs behind Lanham, the quarterback. He takes it and hands it to uh, the fullback inside. I don't know if that's Michael Jones. I believe it's Michael Coach Wiggum working on the offensive scheme, and what they seem to have found is, uh, is working for them. They're coming right at them, and they're slowly grinding out that yardage. Wing, the fullback is a wing to the right. Twin receivers to the left. He fakes a counter play. He looks down the field, throws the ball uh, in the corner on an out-and-up route, and it's intercepted in the end zone. Mixon's out there and uh, takes the ball at the goal line, falls backwards, and he's played all year long. You can't leave the ball up in the air like that. Mixon again at quarterback, trips to the near side with a fullback flanked to the right side of Mixon, the quarterback, single receiver to the left side. Tigers play defense, 20-yard line. Shotgun snaps back. Nixon takes it on the quarterback draw, and uh, he swarmed pretty good at about the 22-yard line, so uh, pretty good effort that time by the TR quarterback for the Pike County Bulldogs. Second down and about uh, seven yards to go here for Pike County. 56 seconds to play here in the opening quarter. Single receivers wide to both sides. Nixon's under center with two tight ends, one back behind him. He's got a crowd inside, and he's going to take it on the corner. He skips inside of one and is hit at about the 30-yard line. But, again, is breaking tackles, and uh, you can't arm tackle him. you got to get to slow him down. Nixon felt the pressure and broke free first down Pike County Bulldogs. Ball's at the 34-yard line. Trips to the near side. Single receiver to the far side. Nixon again in a shotgun. Snaps back. He drops straight back. He's going to throw. There's a flag on the play, and it goes through Joseph Turner's hands at about the 45-yard line and falls into play. I can't. Illegal procedure for the Pike County Bulldogs, and it's declined. And so it'll be second down for the... Uh, <laughs> it took that long. I don't think they had enough men on the line of scrimmage. The wide receiver was in the backfield across the way, and uh, that left him with six on the line of scrimmage instead of seven. Trips to the near side again, mixing in, the, in a shotgun. Single receiver to the far side. He drops straight back. He's looking down the field, throws the ball over the middle, and it's caught at the 50-yard line. First down, Pike County. Uh, the receiver... Nothing as they cross over in the T.R. Miller Tiger, Tiger territory at the 47-yard line. Three, two, one. Back at Municipal Stadium, Pike County 7, T.R. Miller nothing as we open the second quarter. Pike County has it in T.R. Miller territory, 47-yard line. Nixon's under center. He takes a shotgun snap, drops stake back, throws the ball in the flat uh, to his big tight end, Walker. Actually, he's a split uh, Tim Atcher, number 30. But uh, pretty, good, uh, pretty good pursuit that time from the backside rush. Trips to the far side again with a single receiver to the near side. Mixon has it on a quarterback draw. He steps by one, breaks two tackles, and he's around the corner, 20-yard, 30-yard line, 20-yard line, and they're going to get him out of bounds, 15-yard line. But uh, very shifty, and they're going to get uh, T.R. Miller. Whatever they're going to do with the half, the half the distance of the goal, so that'll be another six yards. But that's what athletes can do. doesn't matter what your game plan is and how you plan to stop them. When they, when they get a problem, they can take off and, and make a big play. First and goal for the Fi Pike County in the uh, second quarter of play. Pike County leading seven to nothing. So uh, need to need to come up with a big stop right here. 
Well, you can't have the mistakes and when you allow 35 yards on a broken play. There's nothing you can do about it, really, but you've got to, you've got to, make, you've got to come up and make a play. Trips uh, to the far side. Nixon again in the shotgun. Takes the ball, drops back, looks. He's going to be hit, uh, but throws the ball incomplete at the goal line. He had, a, he had a receiver over there, and it looked like what the stats are as far as the quickness in the 40 and what he does. But he's a football player. Absolutely. Come game time, this kid is ready to play, and he's a football player. We need to get right after him. Trips to the far side receivers to the right side and he's going to uh, come to the right side on just a quarterback option and Demetrius Prayer 58 pulls him down in the back but he was out there by himself and that's what you got to do whatever it takes to get him down you got to just hang on in there and uh, and and wait for help or, to, or not give up trips to the far side again wide receiver to the left side Nixon in a shotgun takes the ball drops straight back looks throws the ball in the flat and it's uh it's incomplete, but there's a flag down at the goal line, and I'm afraid Antonio Gomez may have gotten there just a half a step early. Troops come in for the T.R. Miller Tigers. going to be goal line defense, I guess. The ball is spotted on the far side hash mark at about the four-yard line. First and goal for the Pike County Bulldogs. Nixon with his Bulldogs breaks the huddle. He's going to put uh, three receivers again to the far side. Walker set uh, as a tight end to the near side this time. Nixon's under center, fakes inside, turns inside, and uh, scores the touchdown. And it looked like there was going to be nothing there. He just looked and saw a gap inside. The ball will be spotted at the 10-yard line, uh, as it usually is for the extra point. Snaps back. It's on the tee. The kick is up. And it's good. So a timeout on the field, 10 lead. It's 14 for Pike County Bulldogs, 0 for the T.R. Miller Tigers. This is uh, T.R. Miller football on the Power Pig, 93.3. And, uh, and the turnover. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a long way from over. There's going to be a lot of scoring tonight. Kicker uh, approaches the football, hits it down the uh, left side to the near side. Michael Jones has it across the 20, 25, 30, 35 yard line. Breaks the tackle. He's taken down at about the 35 yard line, and it looked like he was just a half a step from uh, underneath, tight, tight end over eight yards deep, and that type of thing. You can't leave the ball up in the air for a uh, Pike County. Lanham, number 15, the quarterback, is under center. Two backs behind him. That's Atcher and uh, Fountain. Lanham makes a fake, looks down the field, is going to throw the ball on the corner. And uh, it's, it's out there. Nice defensive play, though, by Daniels. Saw the weakness, but it's not there. These, these guys cover ground. They're quick and they're fast, and, uh, and they play man coverage. And uh, they've been right. Hey, who the Tigers take on in two weeks, J13 and Graceful 12. That's also a first quarter score. Second and 10 for the T.R. Miller Tigers. One back behind the quarterback, Lanham. Wing to the right, twins to the left. It's a counter play, handed to Fountain. And he breaks a tackle across the 40-yard line. He's going to pick up about six yards or seven on the play. And so he's huddling about the 35-yard line. And now come to the line of scrimmage. Twin receivers to the near side. Tight ends to the left side. Eye backs behind the quarterback, Lanham. Lanham takes the ball. Takes it on a, on a tall sweep to uh, Fountain, who crosses the 45-yard line. And then Nixon... Up in. But Nixon with a nice open field tackle. But once again, that uh, the the little pitch coming back to the uh, to to this side is uh, was there for the Tigers. Lanham under center, twin receivers to the near side. Gomez goes in motion across. I backs behind Lanham. The power play, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage twice at the line of scrimmage. And so some physical football down inside. Something. Well, the ball. Uh, they know that uh, they've got a good squad. They had a good squad last year and uh, just fell by the way on the way to the championship. Lanham's under center again. Gomez goes in motion across. I backs behind Lanham on the counter play. Schuyler Fountain across 45, 40-yard line. He's hit uh, by Mixon at the 40-yard line. Uh, picks up the first down. And so, again, we're just sideline after uh, two or three carries in a row. First and 10 for the Tigers, 40-yard line of the Pike County Bulldogs. Twin receivers to the near side. I backs behind Lanham. Davidson set to the left. He hands it to Michael Jones just uh, right up the gut right there off of uh, the left side. And uh, Michael, uh, pretty good push by those front group. First and, I'm sorry, second down and five for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Gomez is a wing to the left side behind Davidson. I backs behind Lanham. Gomez comes in motion across to the near side. Fakes the counter play. Looks inside. Lanham doesn't have a receiver. Now he finds Davidson, 30-yard line. Run it, Trent. And Trent's uh, down to the 20, 15. 10-yard line goes Trent Davidson. 
And I'm trying to help him run as, uh, <laughs> as he pulls down at about the 10-yard line. County's going to come down with it more times than we are. Well, and Trent, uh, I don't know that Trent was the primary receiver. No, he, he had wasn't. two others, and Trent just kind of drug out across there and uh, was wide open. Nice throw by Brad Lanham. Nice patience by Brad Lanham. First and 10 at the 10-yard line. Michael Jones goes in motion across. Ball's handed to uh, Tim Atcher, and he's hit about the 7-yard line and uh, doubled back. Tigers. Tim Hatcher will learn a quick lesson there. Came across the line screens, jumped a man. By the time he came down, he got nailed by Pike County. You don't want to leave your feet in a situation like that. You lose your momentum. Gomez in at quarterback. The Marines are in. And uh, Antoine takes the ball, hands it to Skylar Fountain up the middle. He bounces off the pile, breaks a tackle, and pushes inside the five. It looked like they had him stop for a loss. He didn't give up. Ball's inside the five-yard line at about the four-yard line. Third down and goal for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Wings to the right behind Davidson. Split backs behind Gomez, the quarterback, or Jones and Fountain. He hands the ball inside. No, he keeps it on the quarterback bootleg. Antonio Gomez, touchdown, T.R. Miller. Good. Extra point squads into the game. Davidson will snap. Collie's the holder. Joseph Turner set the kick. The snap's back. The kick's up. Kind of a wobbly kick, but it's good. So our T.R. Miller Tigers are on the board. Up back and have seven. You're listening to the Power Pig, 93.3. We're at Municipal Stadium in Bruton, Alabama. 5.23 here to play before halftime. Our T.R. Miller Tigers finally on the board. Uh, still trail 14-7 to to the Pike County Bulldogs, but a little momentum swing for our T.R. Miller Tigers. And uh, we got a much-needed touchdown right there. Joseph Turner approaches the football, kicks it. It's the end over end. It's going to come down to Mixon at about the 14-yard line, number one, who takes the ball, shifty uh, moves across the 25-yard uh, line, but tackle there at about the 26. So Pike County will take... Pike County getting momentum and, and uh, putting more points on the board this half. Mixon will be in a shotgun. He sends three receivers to the far side. He's got a wide out to the near side. He's in. He has his fullback flank to his right side. Shotgun snaps back. Pressure's in the middle. Ball's thrown down the middle. Caught at the 40-yard line. And so a pick up there of about, uh, let's see, what is that? They want uh, Nixon to, to keep the ball. T.R. Miller to play defense. Backs to the 50-yard line. Nixon's in the shotgun, looking across midfield. Twi uh, trips to the far side, a split receiver to the near side. Nixon takes a shotgun snap, drops straight back, throws the ball in the flat, and it's bobbled by Walker. Fumble! And uh, it's, it's loose on the sideline. It's hard to tell. I'm, I'm thinking that Pike County may have gotten it back, and they, they did, did at the 35. They come down the field, Doug. That's what we say that couldn't happen. Four and a half minutes left to go in the, in the half, and uh, Pike County's on the 35-yard line. Three receivers to the far side. Again, wide out to the near side. Shotgun formation. Nixon has it from the shotgun snap. Pressure's coming. Ball's thrown in the flat, and uh, Walker didn't want to go up for that one. And it sails over his head out of bounds. Get your hands up and get hit in the ribs for sure. And as tall as he is, 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, he's probably got a lot of ribs to be hitting <laughs> over there. Nixon again uh, in a shotgun set. Same formation. Takes a shotgun snap. Looks straight back. Got pressure in the middle. Throws the ball across the middle over the top of everybody. Incomplete. Line. Pike County Bulldogs at about the 45-yard line are going to break huddle and uh, scrimmage from the 36. Nixon will be in the shotgun. Three receivers to the far side and a single receiver to the near side. He hikes his leg and the snap's made to him. Straight back. He's dropping straight back. He's got pressure. He's going to throw the ball on the corner. And it's over the top and incomplete. Antonio Gomez in cover. Daniel uh, Wilson's yeah. coaching there. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> That's how I knew that. All right, we need it back. In 10, that comes. <laughs> and 5, 3, 2, 1. Nixon takes a shotgun snap and right in to, to come across, and uh, Walker made that about 12 yards across and picked it up, and there they go. First and 10 for the Pike County Bulldogs, 22-yard line. Nixon again uh, in a shotgun set, three receivers to the far side. He waits for the snap, takes the ball, drops back, looks to throw, throws the ball in the flat, and uh, inside the 20, and Antonio Gomez hangs on and drags him down at about the 15-yard line. They've only had the ball for two minutes and, tw and 25 seconds, so they, they, cover, they can cover a lot of territory quickly. Nixon again in a shotgun set. 
Receivers to both sides, three to the far side, a single receiver to the near near side. Nixon takes the takes the uh, pitch and he's going to go down, and they're going to get him for grounding the ball at the 26-yard uh, line. Michael Jones in uh, number County, nice defensive play for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Well, Doug, that's all. That's a loss of down and the step off from there. I, I'm going to be honest. I thought that was a poor call. I, he was down on, as long as it's not uh, a personal foul, but uh, he was on the ground, he was down, and then threw the ball, so I didn't see the third down, and is that 25? That's a, I'm telling you what, it's a big play is what it is. Third and a, probably about 22 or something 21 like that. 21 on the scoreboard yeah. there. Mixon in a shotgun set again. Three receivers to the far side. One long receiver to the near side. Nixon has it. He drops straight back. He's looking. He's got pressure again. He throws the ball down the down the way on the corner at the goal line. Walker tries to one-hand it at the goal line and can't pull it in. In 14 to 7. Fourth down and 21 yards for the first down. Nixon again will be the quarterback in a shotgun set. Receivers are three to the far side and one to the near side. And uh, there's a flag there on the play. They've taken too much time, I would imagine, and they're going to back up. Of course, it doesn't make any difference. They'll either get it all right here or they won't get, uh, you know, won't get any of it. Oh, well, he's at the 12. That's just the first down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. In five, three, two. One. Snaps back, and uh, Pike County's going to punt the ball away. Antonio Gomez deep to receive it, and uh, he steps out of the way. The ball bounds and stops at the one-yard line, and so uh, how could you do it any better than that if you're a Pike County Bulldog? Tough break for the T.R. Miller Tigers. It's 221. You can expect T.R. Miller to keep it on the ground right here, but they've had great success on the ground so far. Just need to hang on to it. Make sure we don't turn it over to them right here down close and uh, let them have a cheat one before halftime. Lanham's under center, turns and hands the ball to uh, Atcher. Tim Atcher uh, spins and uh, backs up to out to about the four-yard line. And uh, boy, that's kind of the uh, second quarter in the first half. Bulldogs 14, T.R. Miller 7. Been a great first half. Lived up to that expectations. I guarantee you, the T.R. Miller staff will make some some changes in uh, over that halftime break. Lanham's under center. Riggs comes in motion across. Ball's handed to Michael Jones. He's out to the uh, five to the ten yard line. Breaks a tackle and gets away at the 15 uh, in his shoestring uh, tackle there. The best way running the ball most of the game. We just don't have but seven yeah, points up right. there. I guarantee you come halftime, there's going to be a, a folks fatigued on both sides of that football. Absolutely. <laughs> Twin receivers to the far side. Lanham's under center. Davidson to the right. I backs behind him. Ball's fake to Lanham on the inside. He drops and throws the ball in the flat. He's got Michael Riggs out at the 35-yard line, 40-yard line, and out of bounds on the far side. So a nice throw. Wide open, but he came across the field and it was in the air a long way but not the, the, the pickup what was it the 15 17 yard pickup Lanham is in a shotgun set receivers to both sides this time Lanham looks back throws the ball in the flat got Michael Jones around the corner he picks up a stop block on the corner across the 50 40 yard line and down in uh, Pike County territory 38 yard line in the half Clock begins to roll, 55 seconds. We're in uh, Air Force, I think is what Coach Riggs calls this set. Twin receivers to both sides. Lanham's in a shotgun. He takes a shotgun snap. He's got pressure, throws the ball in the flat, and uh, it's fumbled out of bounds by Antonio Gomez, but that's going to stop the T.R. Miller Tigers left. Twin receivers to both sides. Lanham is in the shotgun. Jones is set to the left. Lanham takes the ball. He looks. He's going to scramble to the right side, look down the field, throws the ball out in the flat again. Michael Riggs at the 10-yard line, but the ball's overthrown and out of bounds. Uh, big and about seven for the T.R. Miller Tigers. 35 seconds left here to play in the half. Twin receivers again to both sides. The shotgun snap comes straight back. Lanham is going to scramble and get out of bounds, and uh, he's going to lose yardage out to about the 40 When uh, Chris Nixon is the quarterback, Doug, I'm afraid we've given him too much time there to cover 54 yards, 21 seconds. <laughs> They're still scary. Nixon's in a shotgun. He's got twin receivers to both sides. Takes a shotgun snap, drops straight back. He's got pressure in the middle, and he's going to throw the ball deep over everybody down to about the 10 yard line. So it's a uh, Doug, I didn't pay close attention. I think 
Trent Davidson, number 80 for the Tigers, I think was lined up at defensive tackle. I think I don't think he was a defensive end. I think he was coming and he he applied the pressure from that. Defense. He what 73 yards from the goal line with only 13 seconds to play. Walker, uh, the big wide receiver for Pike County, split far to the right. Twin receivers to both sides. Nixon's in a shotgun set, takes a shotgun snap, drops straight back, throws the ball incomplete in the flat. Michael Jones in coverage over there. Jay and Graceful are tied 19 to 19. Nixon breaks huddle with his Pike County Bulldogs. He's going to be under center this time. First time all night probably or one of them. And I'm going to say yes, he hands the ball off inside. And uh, the runner goes out across the 30, 35 yard line. Two seconds, one second. And uh, timeout has been called. <laughs> Mm. Back up. First down. <laughs> In ten, five, three, two, one. And five. And three, two, one. We're ready to start. The kick's high end over end, but out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Our T.R. Miller Tigers receive the second-half kickoff. Pike County leading 14-7 to at the half, and uh, look, our T.R. Miller Tigers, who wait for it at the north, he approaches the ball, kicks it in, over end kick again. It's almost identically the same, and certainly right out of bounds this time at about the 35-yard line. And so I would have a charm about three strikes, and you're out. He approaches the ball, kicks it off, end over end kick to Michael Jones at the 30 yard line, who steps back at the 30, 35, finds a gap, 40, 50 yard line, 45 yard line, 40 yard line, and he breaks a tackle, 20, 15 yard line goes Michael Jones, and uh, just a half a step, just couldn't quite get through the gap. Michael Jones took it right down, almost broke that tackle, but down all the way down to the 15 yard line. Great field position, 15-yard line after the big return. Lanham's under center, one back behind him. Toss sweep comes to Skyler Fountain. He's to the corner, 15-yard line, breaks a tackle. It's hit hard by Nixon at the 15-yard line. Practically no gain, maybe a yard on the playing the type of caliber that, uh, that, you know, you have a little bit of freshness, freshness in your legs when you're winning by a big score, but when you get the tight or behind, it gets a little tougher. Eye backs behind Lanham, a wing set to the left, that's Gomez, goes in motion to the right side. Lanham takes a snap, hands it on the counter, play to Atcher. He's uh, stacked up at about the 12-yard line, maybe the 13-yard line on the counter. Third and eight yards to go, just to pick up of a yard on the play. 14-7, Pike County leads as we open the quarter. Eye backs behind Lanham, twin receivers to the left. Lanham takes the ball, fakes the ball inside, looks to the corner of the end zone. He throws it, and it's knocked away from Michael Riggs in the corner of the end zone. Here in the second half for both squads after the big kickoff return. Eye backs behind the quarterback, Lanham. Twin receivers to the right side. Lanham's under center. Takes a snap, hands to Michael Jones. What's an option play to Tim Atcher on the corner, and he's going to be stacked up at the 10 yard line on a fourth down play, short of the first down. They're capable of moving the ball quickly, but they've got the whole field position. And you know, even at the, at the 11 yard line, they're going to come out throwing. Nixon's under center this time, wide outs to both sides, eye backs behind him, and he hands the ball on the corner. He comes around the end, he's, he's out across the 15 yard line, 20 yard line, and a flag comes in. Uh, from across the way, it looks like it's going to be about the 22-yard line. I'm sorry, from about the 17-yard line. And mark off yardage there. It'll still be first down. Uh, but uh, the play ends up losing one, two, about seven and a half yard line. Ten minutes to play here in the third quarter as we open 14 to seven. Still Pike County. Official blows the uh, whistle to signal um, the ball ready for play. Nixon's under center, wide outs to both sides. Takes and hands it again on the power play. He's stacked up about the line of scrimmage, maybe picks up a yard, and is pulled down there by a host of defenders. So pretty good defense. That's what their offense is, just to throw the football. Well, this time I think you've talked them into it, Lynn. Three receivers to the near side and a, a single receiver to the far side. Nixon's in a shotgun. Fullback's flanked to his right side. He hikes his leg for the, for the snaps, takes a step back, looks in the flat. He's got pressure. He's going to go down. Fumble. The ball's loose at the goal line. And I believe Pike County's going to get it back. Our uh, Tigers are saying we have it. No big play right here. You know Nixon is capable of uh, putting a 20-yarder right on you if you're not careful. 
the big receiver Walker is uh, lined up at the tight end position I backs behind the quarterback under center that's Nixon he takes the ball tosses uh, the ball to the outside and uh, number five the uh, sophomore or the ninth grader comes around the corner but is hit by Joseph Turner on number 15 and he's going to drop back to uh, the goal line he stands actually in the end zone of about two yards deep Antonio Gomez is out at about the 40 yard line to receive the kick 10 across for the T.R. Miller Tigers Walker waits for the snap. It's a good one. The kick's off. It's a low kind of a line drive kick that hits at about the 35. And uh, Antonio wisely steps aside and lets the ball lets the ball fall dead. It's going to be a clip in the back, a push of the yards in the back for pushing in the back. Doug, that, that's really seven. They started out on the 15-yard line, couldn't run a score in. Now they get a chance to start from the 26, and you got they've got to take advantage of this. Absolutely. Need to put points on the board right here. Eight minutes to play here in the uh, third quarter. 14-7. to seven, Pike County still leads. Lamb's in the huddle with his Tigers, breaks the huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage. Two backs behind Lanham. That's Jones and Fountain. Wide outs of both sides. Davidson's in the slot. The ball's handed to Jones underneath, and he powers his way uh, for about three yards in the middle of the line of scrimmage there. Tigers break the huddle. Bulldogs wait at the line of scrimmage for them. Lanham's under center. Twin receivers to the near side. Wing to the far side. That's Jones. Breaks the counter play. Looks down the field. He's got plenty of time. Now he's caught in the backfield and is going to go down. And uh, a sack there is Brad Lanham. Third is here. Third and, and 15. Third and 15, Lanham and the Tigers take the line of scrimmage. Twin receivers to the far side. Eye backs again behind Lanham. Davison to the left. Motion across is to Jones. It's, a, it's a kind of a speed screen out there. Nothing out there for Michael, and he's stacked up. And he's going to lose about two more yards, so it's going to be fourth down. And, and make, the, make Pike County work the distance of the field. Lanham drops out to about the 47, 48-yard line to receive the punt snap from Davidson. Pike County not sure that he's going to punt. Have uh, that looks like regular defense lined up, and they're not uh, making a rush. The punt's end over end. It's going to run down uh, close to the goal line and into the end zone for the touchback. And so, uh, I guess last year tripped up through the playoffs. You certainly playing a high high quality football team tonight. Nixon's going to be under center. It's a pro set. Tight ends to the right. Wide outs to both sides. I backs behind him. Nixon looks at the defense, takes the ball, hands it off uh, to his running back on the corner, and he's stacked up out at about the 24-yard line. So a nice, it uh, looks like about seven for the Pike County Bulldogs. Ball, uh, ball's on the 28-yard line, near side hash mark. Pike County traveling from the uh, south end of the field toward the north. Nixon's under center again. High back's behind him, the quarterback. He fakes on the bootleg. He looks to the outside, and uh, he's going to break containment. 25, 30-yard line. And uh, out of bounds at about the 30, 30. Officials have stopped the clock while the chains are being moved. And I think they're set. Nixon's under center again. Double tight end set. Ball's handed in the middle of this time, and uh, it's kind of stacked up right there. He looks like he's going to pick up about three yards on the play. To take advantage when they when they have the, the field position, though, they've got to move the football and score points. Wide outs to both sides. Two tight end set. One back behind Nixon, the quarterback. He turns and uh, fakes the ball, jumps to make a pass, and uh, nobody there. And we get him by a leg and pull him down after a gain of about four yards. To, and uh, and to, to move the football, the Tigers have got to come up with something real big right here. Samaritan Cunningham on the stop for the Tigers. Third and three for the Pike County Bulldogs. Pro set, wide outs to both sides. Nixon's under center. Hands it on the, uh, on the hand sweep to the outside. He's hit uh, right at the uh, first down stick to the near side. It's going to be a first down here to play in the uh, third quarter. Pike County leading 14-7. Nixon breaks the huddle, sends three receivers to the near side. He's got a wide out to the far side. He's in a shotgun formation. Hikes his leg, indicate he's ready for the snap. The snap's back. Nixon takes the ball. He drops straight back. Hit pressure in the middle, throws the ball across the middle. He's got a receiver, 40-yard line in T.R. Miller territory. Down to the 35 in his slide territory. 220, I'm sorry, 240 to play here in the third quarter. 
Nixon's going to be under center again. Wide outs to both sides. Tight end set to the right. Eye backs behind him. He turns and hands the ball in the middle, and it's stacked up about the line of scrimmage there. So pretty good defense that time by the Tigers. He made second half. Pike County has 14. T.R. Miller 7 for the game. Nixon's under center with wide outs to both sides. Eye backs behind him. He calls the count. Takes a snap, looks inside, hands it off, and uh, no, he keeps it around the corner. He breaks the tackle and is down inside the 30-yard line, not, not quite to the 25 by Nixon to get him close to the first down marker. Pike County walks to the line of scrimmage now. You can tell the big boys are tired, but they're still moving the football. Three receivers to the near side. Nixon keeps it uh, on a quarterback sneak just right up the gut on a quick count, and he's got the first down. First and ten for the Pike County Bulldogs. One minute to play here in the third quarter. Pike County leading 14 to 7. Three receivers to the near side with a tight end set to the near side. Nixon drops straight back. Looks to throw. Throws the ball across the middle. He's got it at the five yard line. Touchdown Pike County. Doug, nice throw and catch. Throw into a speedy receiver. 20 to 7. Pike County extends the lead. 44 seconds here to play in the uh, third quarter. Pike County sets their uh, kick team to the left and then uh, sprints horizontally across uh, from the hash to the uh, to the football, spotted on the hash in the middle of the field, and now the officials are going to drop flags in the back of the end zone and penalize T.R. Miller for indicate illegal substitution against T.R. Miller, and it's declined. And so they're going to just uh, go ahead and kick the extra point. Snap. Uh, the holder's waiting on the snap and it's back the kick is up and uh, it's no good off to the left side the kick is no good we got timeout on the field at Municipal Stadium in Bruton 44 in 5 3 2 1 Walker kicks the ball off to uh, the T.R. Miller Tigers Tyler Sheehan 88 fields it on his knees at the 35 to 7 right now but the move the football, hold on hold on defense, and they get the football and move it again. Lanham's under center, twin receivers to the near side, eye backs behind Lanham, the quarterback, he fakes the ball inside, looks down the field, he's got a receiver, it's Salter on the outside, Salter makes the catch out at the 47 yard line, picks up about 35 seconds here to play before halftime, Tigers break the huddle and come to the line of scrimmage. Pike County kind of wandering around there. Tigers under, uh, Lanham's under center. Riggs in motion across. He takes the ball, hands it to Fountain on the counter play. He breaks out across the 50. 45 yard line, picks up a block. 40, 35, and down inside the 35 yard line. Guskers, and uh, we're going to break the huddle, but not going to get the play off. One second left on the clock, and there's the horn. So we're to the fourth quarter. Rail 20 to 7 to the Pike County Bulldogs. But uh, threatening at the uh, 33 yard In five, three, two, one. We're at Municipal Stadium. One quarter of action left. Lanham's under center. Eye backs behind him. Riggs comes in motion to the near side. L Lanham takes a ball on the fake. Looks in the flat. He's got Michael Jones in the flat. 30. Slips a tackle. 25 to the 21 yard line and knocked down there. And the Pike County Bulldogs lead the T.R. Miller Tigers, but it's first and 10. T.R. Miller has it at the 21-yard line. High backs behind Lanham. Wide receiver split to the left. Hands the ball to Fountain up the middle. Uh, just on a power play. Fountain pushes it inside the 20-yard line. T.R. Miller Tigers will travel to Jay in two weeks, and Jay is defeating Gra Graceful 25-19 to tonight. That's in the fourth quarter. Twin receivers to the right side, Davidson to the left, eye backs behind Lanham, the quarterback. Riggs goes in motion across, ball's handed underneath to Atcher, and Atcher's wrapped up uh, just about the line of scrimmage. Not much there for Tim. In, the, uh, in this football game, the Tigers have got to, got to do something. Of course, this is certainly four down territory right now. A kick won't do them any good. They've got to score a touchdown. Lanham's under center. Rush goes in motion across. Eye back behind Lanham. He takes a pitch, tosses to Fountain. Fountain's on the corner, 15-yard line. 10-yard line and uh, slips a tackle and gets a first down. Big play by Skyler Fountain on the corner. Oh. Tigers break the huddle. Damian Jackson, number 11, is a wide out with Kyle Rush in a slot. Eye backs behind Lanham. Davidson's to the left. Lanham takes the ball, hands it to Fountain on the power play. Lanham, uh, 
uh, Fountain just kind of inches his way, weaves his way inside, and quick. They're going to close quickly, and, and uh, you, you better do whatever you're going to do on that first step. One back this time behind Lanham. Twin receivers to the left side. You got a wing to the right with Davidson on the counter play. It's handed to Fountain. He's up the middle five. He's to the goal line. Touchdown, Tigers! Doug, how big of a hole was that? Here in the football game, Davidson will snap the football. Collie will hold. Turner to do the kicking. Davidson snap. It's back. It's a good snap. Kicks up. And it's good. So, again, with timeout on the field behind the uh, Pike County Bulldogs, if you're listening to Tiger football on the pocket. Zero, zero, four, five, eight. That's two, five, one, two, three, zero, zero, four, five, eight. Get down, ball. And three, two, one. End over end kick is taken at about the 10 yard line. A little bit of momentum in the red jersey right now. If we can just get the uh, Pike County Bulldogs stopped right here, we'll be in good shape. Doug, Pike County really doesn't care if we're on the field. They get the ball as long as they get the ball. That's right. Nixon's uh, in a shotgun set. Trin uh, trips receivers to the far side. Looks to throw the ball in the flat. He's got Walker out there, and he's wrapped up by that's uh, Rodney Lane, number 40, and pushed out of bounds, but not the ball back. Doug, a nice, cool night, and we're hoping that Pike County will get tired, but I guarantee it may be supposed to play all night on a night like this. It's a beautiful night for high school football. Three receivers to the far side. Nixon's got it in a shotgun set. He looks at the line of scrimmage. It's a quarterback draw. He takes the ball around the corner, and again, he's got about 10 yards around the right side. Just difficult to get to. Nixon huddles with his Bulldogs. T.R. Miller Tigers wait at the line of scrimmage. The officials are going to call time back at Municipal Stadium. 8.15 to play here in the final quarter. Pike County 20, T.R. Miller 14. Pike County has it first and 10 at the 49-yard line in T.R. Miller territory. Three receivers to the far side with one back behind Nixon, who's under center. He takes the ball, fakes it on the corner, gets around the outside. He's to the 45, and there's a penalty flag out there, and it looks to me again like the five yard line, so he's going to push him back to about the 48-yard line in uh, Pike County territory. The enemy of T.R. Miller. Pike County breaks the huddle. Tigers wait at the line of scrimmage. Nixon's under center. Got wide outs to both sides. It's a pro set. Tight ends to the right. Eye backs behind him. Nixon takes the ball, looks, makes a fake. He looks, he throws the ball down the field. He's got a man back there and tipped away at the last second by Rodney Lane. Nice defensive play. By a great play. Nixon breaks the huddle with his Bulldogs. He's going to be in a shotgun set. Sends three receivers to the near side. Tight end is, uh, there is no tight end. A wide out to the far side. Nixon takes a shotgun snap. Looks down the field. Throws the ball across the middle. It's too high. Intercepted. Joseph Turner intercepts the ball that was deflected at about the 40-yard line. Catches it right here, Tigers. Doug, this is exactly what they need. They need, that, need the turnover now. And with uh, 721 left, they've got that. Now they have to take advantage and, and, uh, and run the football. Officials are stopping play to 14. Doug, we've got a final in their other region contest there that means that the WS Neal 21 and strong 13. Closer game than I thought. Lanham's under center, takes the, takes the quarterback, uh, fakes it in the middle, throws the ball in the flat, and it's knocked down by number 15, uh, Walker. Down in front of him. Second down and 10 for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Twin receivers to the far side. Jones and Fountain behind the quarterback, Lanham. Davidson's to the right. Takes on the power play, hands it in the middle, and he's hit hard at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. In five, three, two, one. Lenham takes the ball and drops back. Can't find a sunny Bulldogs. Well, Brad had time to throw. He just just couldn't find a receiver. Ended up having to break it up into, into the middle. Picked up a few yards, but not enough for the first. Snaps back from Davidson to Lanham. End over end kick down the field. It's going to hit the ground at about the 30-yard line. Nixon's going to take it there and lunge forward at the 25-yard uh, line and go down there. So Pike County, Pike County uh, breaks the huddle, walks to the line of scrimmage. 
It's almost tradition at Pike County, isn't it? <laughs> Nixon's going to be under center. Trips to the to the near side. A tight end to the left side. Nixon's under center. Takes the ball. Fakes the ball inside and keeps the ball. Michael Jones hits him in the backfield. No gain on the play. Try Bulldogs. T.R. Miller, Miller huddles and waits for the Tigers. Both squads break. Three receivers go to the far side with a single receiver to the near side. Nixon's in a shotgun with a fullback beside him. He hikes his leg. Shotgun snaps back. Michael Jones is pressuring him. Nixon scrambles. Jones on the corner. Looks down the field. He throws the ball incomplete out at about the 40-yard line. And uh, there's their hands in the air like, uh, how did it, we get the call? this call? What was the call there, Lee? It, it was able to stop them here to make them punt. Both squads break the huddle. Two receivers to the near side. A tight end to the far side with a wide out to that side. Nixon's under center with a fullback. He drops straight back, looks to run. And he does. He breaks uh, across the 25-yard uh, line, which is the line of scrimmage, and out to about the Walker, number 15, drops to uh, kick the football away. Antonio Gomez is deep in his own territory at about the 40-yard line. Eight across for the Tigers. Now 10. Snaps back. It's a good snap. Pressure in the middle, but the kick's away. Antonio's going to catch it at the 42-yard line. Steps in front of one. Catches his balance. 50-yard line. 44-yard line. I'm sorry, 46-yard line in Pike County territory. Turner right here changed uh, field position a little bit. And now it's our turn. We just need to step up and uh, put points on the board. 15 Lanham is under center. I backs behind him. Twin receivers to the near side. He takes the ball, makes a fake, looks inside. He's got it out on the corner. He throws it out. And uh, Jacob Salter drops the ball at the 35-yard line. Took his eyes off. 45-yard line. Break huddle and uh, step into Pike County territory at the 46. Wide outs are two to the near side. I backs behind Lanham. He takes the count, looks, fakes a fake inside. Same play again, and it's intercepted, no incomplete. 15 Walker steps in front of Michael. With four minutes left in the game. I don't, I don't know if we're four down territory or not. What do you think? You're a coach. Uh, <laughs> totally not. I would think we'd punt them deep if we haven't, you know, if we can't make a play right here. I backs behind Lanham again. He makes a fake inside, drops back, going to throw the ball in the flats. Got Davidson, and he's chopped down. At about the a good football game, folks around the track always standing, home stands full. Great night for high school football. Twin receivers to the far side. Lanham is the quarterback, under center. Eye backs behind him. That's Fountain and Jones. Jones comes in motion on the counter play to Fountain. He uh, breaks a tackle, 30-yard line, inside the 30, down to about the 27-yard line. 10 to play here in the football game. Tigers have it in Pike County territory, 28-yard line. Second and a foot, second and a yard. Wide outs to both sides, two backs behind him. Rush goes in motion across. Lanham takes the ball, hands it to Jones underneath. Jones uh, to the 25, 20-yard 20 line, and just muscles his way inside the 20 down to about the 19 yard third right. down play. So you're right, two timeouts left for the Tigers. Tigers break the huddle, rushes the uh, wingman behind Davidson, set to the right. Eye backs behind him, rushing motion across to the left side. Davidson takes it, pitches the fountain on the toss sweep to the left. He's around the corner to the 15, down at the flag at about the 10-yard line. The official says he's not out of bounds, so the clock still runs. From the 10-yard line. Well, we certainly don't want to give it back to him too quickly. Now you're right about that. If, if we do score. Lanham's under center with a wide out to the near side. He's also got a wing and a tight end to the near side. The sweep comes this way. Fountain turns inside. He's down to about the six-yard line. And uh, game. I, I thought Pike County was calling timeout. They're not, and the T.R. Miller sure doesn't want. They want to keep. They don't want to get them rested. A minute 14 left and counting, and the T.R. Miller first to go to six. Lanham's under center. Twin receivers to the left. Riggs in motion across. It's a counter play to Fountain. He picks up a block. He's to the outside. Five. He's going to run to the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Great job by Skylar Fountain. Doug will be the holder. A big kick right here. Collie's, I mean, uh, Collie's the holder. Davidson is the snapper. They're all say it. Collie raises his hand. The snap's back. The kick's up. It's good. It's good. So it's our Pike County Bulldogs. You're listening to the Power Pig. This is T.R. in the middle of the field. 21 for the home T.R. Miller Tigers. 20 for Pike County. It's kind of a squibbing kick down and it's off the hand of Walker at about the 25-yard line. And it's fielded over there and brought out to about the 35-yard line. There's number 17, uh, 
they're tired right now. Well, you're absolutely right. They're walking around still, but, uh, you know, anything can happen. These kids uh, can just muster up enough to get it done sometimes. Wide outs to both sides with a man in a slot to both sides. Nixon's in, a, in the uh, shotgun. He looks. He's got pressure from the backside. Throws quickly, and it's one-handed to uh, Walker at a 40-yard line. He's handed it off. It's a forward lateral is what it is. The uh, number 17 for the player. He took a forward lateral, though, and advanced it from about the 35-yard line. It's a five-yard penalty. And you do that two more times, and they're in the end zone. But the clock is running. Both squads break the huddle. 38 seconds, 36. Wide outs with a man in the slot to both sides. Nixon's the quarterback. He drops straight back. He's got pressure. He throws the ball in the flat. Damian Jackson is there out of bounds at the 28-yard uh, line of them from the sideline for the Pike County Bulldogs. New uh, troops in for the T.R. Miller Tigers on defense. Three receivers to the far side. Nixon's in a shotgun set. He takes a shotgun snap, looks, throws the ball in the flat. And uh, Damian Jackson has Big Walker uh, at the 22-yard line. And the uh, can make a play with his athletic ability. T.R. Miller 20, Pike County, excuse me, T.R. Miller 21, Pike County 20. T uh, Pike County with the ball with 17 seconds to go. And on the 21-yard line, move in t on T.R. Miller's 21-yard line. Wide outs to both sides with the man in the slot. Nixon looks back. He's going to throw a fade route down the down the, the side. He's into the end zone. It's a touchdown for the Pike County Bulldogs, and they're going to call pass interference on Rodney Lane. Pike County. It's against the Tigers. The touchdown is good. They're all offense. They did a great job coming down there. Throw the ball up to big tight end number number 15 Walker. He goes up and catches the ball. They've huddled to the left side, just like they always do. The snap's back. Hand it to, pitch it to Nixon on an inside sweep. He underhands it into the end zone. There's a man laying in the end zone, and so it's going to be an illegal. Well, you're absolutely right. It's, uh, well, it would put it back. Contest between two very good football teams. And you can expect them to meet again in the playoffs. Well, it'll be, uh, you know, they still got to kick the ball off. That one's up and good. Makes the game six. But uh, time across the 50, a time or two, so there's still a big play left. It's way up toward the 40-yard line, 35-yard uh, line. Walker's going to kick the ball, and he does, and it's going to go out of bounds, it looks like, at the 30-yard line, untouched there. So it run to our Miller Tigers with six behind. Both squads wait. The official blows the ball or signals ready for play. And there's a the kick. It's down the middle of the field. Fielded by Tim Atcher at the 35-yard line. He's got a blocker. He steps around the corner, and he's going to go down. He fumbles the ball. No, he laterals the ball to uh, Antonio Gomez, who's at the 50-yard line. One second to play. And so, Tim... In five, three, two, one. Both squads are on the field, but it was a tight end. Lanham will be in a shotgun set. Both teams return to the field. Michael Jones is, uh, is to his left side. Three receivers to the far side. Three rushers for the Pike County, maybe four. He takes the ball and, uh, and steps back. He looks down the field. He's going to throw the ball as far as he can throw it down there. It's up in the air. And... Uh, Incomplete there. Yep, ruled incomplete tonight, I guess, if you could call it that, 27-21. But, uh... All right, Pike County wins 27-21, going 65 yards in 50 seconds for the winning touchdown. And, and Coach, uh, that's just an unbelievable feat that they were able to do that. Oh, well, they're, they're pretty skilled. The two catches that uh, Walker makes on last drive are both uh, pretty good plays. But... Um, you know, yeah, it was one of those games came down to the end. They made the play at the end to win the game, you know. And uh, I knew when we scored, we might have scored a little bit too early when there was a minute left, you know. You don't want to give them too much time. But, um, uh, you know, bottom line was we, we played hard as we could play, and they did too, and it was a great game. Uh, they made the play at the end to win. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if we get the pass knocked down or we sat quarterback or whatever, you know, we end up winning the game, and they mm -hmm. don't. But that's the difference in win and lose a lot of time making that one play. 
Well, that's what makes it exciting. Your kids played hard, like I said. I know you're proud. First half, let's go back a little bit to the first half. They they had the ball an awful lot. They they had a ton of uh, offensive plays. About three times as many as we did, and uh, uh, we made a mistake. We we um, uh, they had a big drive and missed field goal, and we turn around and you know have a couple break, bust a couple plays and turn and turn the ball over to them. You know, and give it right back to them. And um, they end up running the ball back to the nine yard line or something, end up scoring. And then we had a pretty good drive going, and we um, uh, tried to throw one down in the end zone, got intercepted. So we turned the ball over twice in the first quarter. We knew we couldn't do that, and they got it, went on another drive. So we didn't run many plays in the first quarter, and that was, you know, we, we thought going into the ball game we had to put together some offense and, um, and not only score some points, but uh, to keep it away from them. And, and coming in the second half, uh, third quarter, you had a couple of chances there uh, inside their 30 and couldn't couldn't put it in. Of course, you know, uh, we're able to do that later on to take the lead. But, uh, but when you get those chances, you got to take advantage, don't you? Yeah, in a big ball game, if you want to win, you do. And we didn't do that. And I made a couple of bad play calls there. And uh, we didn't execute a couple of things. And, and uh, they not only got to stop, but, you know, we had another opportunity down there. And they got to stop again down there. And they just, the you know, bottom line is, is they played better than we did at that time. And, uh, then they turn around, come back down and get a drive going to to go ahead, and 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 uh, then we came back at the end. So we knew that that, that our chance probably would be the fact that that they would uh, get a little tired, you know, towards the end a little bit, and um, uh, which they did some, but they weren't tired on that last drive. <laughs> well, they they missed the uh, extra point to to get to 20, and then you guys come up and and are able, uh, Justice able to kick the extra point to make it 21-20. What were your thoughts in defensively, knowing that they have that uh, big play potential? Well, we, we we needed to be able to get some pressure on him. You can't let him sit back there, and receivers are too good. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, but but uh, Walker made a great catch. The first one is just, he threw the ball over his head. And he caught it. <laughs> I don't know how he did it, but made a, just a tremendous catch. And um, and and so you know uh, they did a good job. I mean they're very good at what they do do. And uh, you know at times I thought we defend them pretty well. At other times oh, we didn't defend them good enough, and we weren't good enough on the last drive. But uh, my guys did all they could do. I told them in the locker room after the game, hey, we've done it. We did everything we could do. Sure, we'd like to have some stuff back. But the bottom line is they made the plays at the end to win the game. Now, to lose a game like this to, to uh, Pike County, and, uh, you know, as hard as you guys have worked and, and look forward to this for a year, what does this do for your team's psyche and, and focus? Now, uh, of course, huge game with Neil coming up, big rival. But uh, anything, maybe it'll spur us on a little bit. And, um, you know, I think we'll go ahead and do what we're able to do and all that, that uh, you know, our whole goal is to make playoffs and uh, – make a run in the playoffs and all we can still do all those kind of things. Uh, we'll grow from this a little bit and be a little better. But, you know, I have to keep things in perspective a little bit and understand that, you know, we're one player away from winning the game. And uh, we'd be jumping around and be happy right now. Instead, we're kind of down and out a little bit, but that's football. And uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, live another day. Well, you guys made, uh, you know, hit them a little bit. They hit you a little bit. It's just, it's just a great high school football game. Yeah, one of the best games. I, you know, if I hadn't been, I enjoyed watching it. But uh, it was, it was, it was a fantastic game. And uh, you know, um, I don't know, you know, where we'll be two, three, four weeks from now. I don't know where they'll be two, three, four weeks from now. But uh, it's a long road to uh, the playoffs and on. And so it'll be, it'll be interesting. Not only Pike County, there's some other good teams down here. So uh, you know, it's, it's a good, it's good competition. It's a good football game. I, the game turned out pretty much like I thought it would be. I thought it'd go down to the end mm -hmm. and uh, and and find out who would make play. But actually, the game last year went down to the end as well. You know, so uh, but uh, we just we just hadn't got it done. But um, maybe maybe there'll be another day we will. All right. Thanks, Jamie. All right. Tigers on the losing end of a 27-21 uh, decision here against Pike County. And uh, next week, uh, be at WS Neal. Tigers now 7-1 and one and 5-1 uh, and one overall and uh, in the region. And uh, next week's game uh, bears a, much importance for seeding to try to get that second spot and the home field advantage in the first round of the playoffs. So until next week, this is Randy Winton.